Hey everyone, James Terlecki with Next Level Martial Arts Academy. Welcome to episode six of Parenting Together. Today, I'm going to discuss with you how you can help your child to resolve conflict with another child. Uh, this could be a sibling, this could be a neighbor kid, this can be somebody at school, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't know about you, but you know, I grew up with two sisters and uh, specifically uh, my one sister Kelly we, we fought a lot okay we um, we butted heads a lot and um, you know this is this was just normal brother sister type stuff but um, you know it carried on it carried on into our adult life where you know we still butted heads we still fought and argued a lot and and much of that and uh, much of that was due to the fact that we we uh, we never had any r real like conflict resolution between us, okay? And um, that was a big part of it. And and again, like growing up, as I look back, I you know I I I blame myself for a lot of that. You know, the the majority of it was because of you know my behavior towards her. Uh, you know, I was a I was a little punk. I was a spoiled brat you know and uh, you know I, I provoked her a lot you know so um, I'm to blame okay but uh, I, I just share that with you because I want you to understand that you know in, in all our relationships there's arguing there's fighting you know and uh, there it's it's important that we learn how to we, we want to help our children to resolve conflict because obviously we want our kids to have wonderful relationships with one another and we want them to respect and treat others kindly so we gotta so we gotta so we gotta deal with um, the fact that there's gonna be there's gonna be fights there's gonna be arguments and and that's okay but we need to help them to resolve those things and um, you know uh, thankfully again and I, I thank God for this that me and my sister have a a great relationship today and and we love each other and, and uh, you know our relationship is totally different than it when it used to be when we were kids but uh, again much of that was due to unresolved you know conflict and uh, I think about these things that I'm going to share with you today and you know how our relationship could have been different growing up if these principles were applied to our lives you know and again I have the most amazing parents I love my parents to death but this is not this is just you know something that they did not implement you know but I want to help you to implement this uh, we implement these things in our home uh, if, if your children are anything like our children our children fight they argue they disagree you know uh, there's there's conflict and um, you know this is just normal behavior Okay. Now, one thing I want you to I want you to ask yourself is um, why why do we fight? You know, it could be us, you know, with our spouse or friends, or it could be our children. Why do they fight? You know, what is the real issue? Okay. Think about that. I'll give you a second here. Think about that. Why do we fight? Why do our children argue? In the book of James, this question is answered. Listen to this. James 4, 1 and 2b. What causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your desires that battle within you? You desire, but you do not have, so you kill. You covet, but you cannot get what you want, so you quarrel and fight. So it's very important to see that the behaviors of our children come from the heart all right these are issues of the heart the the thing that's wrong with most parenting today is that most parenting is just simply dealing with the outward behavior okay but the real thing we need to get at is the issues of the heart uh, at, at, uh, in the book of Matthew Christ talks about out of the overflow of the heart come murder and idolatry and theft and all these different things these are issues that come from the heart they come from within 
So when our children fight and argue, these are because of battles of uh, going on within them. These are things that are uh, due from um, heart issues. Now, what we need to ask ourselves is, what is the correct way to handle conflict between our children or between our child and another child? How do we how do we resolve it? Okay. Um, today, I'm going to give you three steps to resolve conflict. Now, you can use these, um, like I said, with um, you know, you have two children, uh, you have your your child and another child, a neighbor. It doesn't matter, right? You can apply these these um, steps to any conflict. All right. Now, step one is to help them to see their sin, point out their wrongdoing in the situation. So, here's how it would break down. Let's say. Um, my daughters, Maya and Abby, they get into an argument and uh, they come running up to me and they're shouting, so and so did this. I say, I tell them, listen, stop, go to your room, okay? And I, I, I separate them for a moment, not because I think that's the end all be all, that's not, okay? And uh, maybe I go speak to Maya first and I sit her down and I say, Maya, I want you to expl I want you to please explain exactly what happened. And at this point, just listen to your child. Uh, don't interrupt them. Just listen to what they say. All right. And um, you know, as she explains things, I'm going to help her to see her sin in the ma in the matter. Now, I will say to her, Maya, it was not right of Abby to say what she did or it was not right for her to do what she did to you. But it was, uh, but also I want, I want to help you, Maya. I want to help you to see what you did in the, in the matter. It was not right for you to. And then I would show her her sin. Okay, I would point out her wrongdoing in the matter. All right. Now, so I, I want her to get a clear picture that what she did was wrong and, that, and how she sinned against her, her sister. So that's step one. Step two is I'm going to encourage her to acknowledge that what she did in that conflict was wrong. So step one, I help her to see it. Step two, I help her to acknowledge it. Because it's not just enough that they see it, right? Now we're starting to, to help them deal with the issue. So step one, I show that show her, her her sin issue or her wrong you know where she wronged her sister and then I help her to acknowledge it right to confess it that hey you're you're right dad it was not right that you know that I yelled at her that way or that I p took that off of her when she was playing with it okay so I help her to acknowledge that what she did was wrong all right now the third step is to command both of them but in this case I'm still speaking to Maya and I'll let her know like Maya when I'm gonna go talk to Abby but when we're done I want you to I want you to confess you know how you sinned against her how you wronged her and um, so this brings us to to point three command them to confess their wrongdoing to the other person and to ask their forgiveness so after they I have to, after I, one, point out their sin, show them their sin, two, after I, after they acknowledge their sin, their wrongdoing, three, they have to confess their sin to their sister, their brother, and ask them to forgive them, okay? So for Maya, it might be, Abby, I knew that you were, um, you were playing on the iPad, and it was wrong of me to take it off of you you know I, I only thought about myself in the matter and uh, you know I didn't think about you at all I put myself first and I was wrong to do that would you forgive me and um, so she's now she's openly asking her sister she's telling her what she did wrong how she sinned against her and now she's asking her to forgive her right 
So there's confession, and then they both do this. Okay, so you can imagine, like, the power in this, that they're both telling each other what they did wrong, and then they're, they're able to ask the other person. It's not just ending there. They're asking, will you forgive me? Okay, will you forgive me for what I did? You know, and after that, again, there's, that conflict is resolved. You know, anger has been, the water has been poured out on the fire, right? And there's, there's communion again. There's reconciliation. There's love. There's forgiveness, okay? That conflict is over, and there's, there's healing, okay? And now they're able to continue, okay? So that's how, that's how we'll, that's how we'll deal with conflict in our home. And there's a little, there's, you know, there's little bits and pieces of this that I can go into on a further, a little bit further on a, another video. Um, but that's, that's the main, the main thing I wanted to get out to you today. Um, and let, and let your children know that, you know, if, I can do I can say these things to my own children because they're both mine okay but let's say you do this with your child and a neighbor kid you know who's he he's not gonna ask for forgiveness maybe he might right a lot of times they're so they're so touched they're so encouraged by your child saying hey I was wrong to do that you know would you forgive me a lot of times they a lot of times even without you saying anything they're like you know would you f I'm sorry for doing this you know and um, so you you help them to see that okay now what I want to say is even if that other child doesn't confess their sin admit their wrongdoing towards your child it's important to tell your child and explain to them listen you need to be responsible for you so you need to acknowledge your wrongdoing to what you said to, to Tommy across the street and you need to ask him to forgive you right so again they're asking and you let them know like even if Tommy doesn't say you know even the I understand he wronged you but even if he doesn't ask for forgiveness it's important that you confess what you did to wrong to him right and ask him to forgive you okay so we're dealing with the uh, our child's heart issues okay extremely important we can't we can't solve every kid in the neighborhood's heart issues you know but uh, we can begin with our children you know and we I build relationships with the kids in my neighborhood I don't know about you but I'm pretty open to discuss these things with with other kids this is how we handle conflict at my house even with neighborhood kids um, and their parents love and trust us um, and I appreciate that um, now, for you who are married, you can do the same thing with this in your marriage. This is how me and my wife resolve conflict. When we fight, we argue, we go think about, you know, ways that we sinned against one another, we wronged one another. Hey, I'm, I shouldn't have said this. And, you know, so this works with any um, conflict between two people. So I really hope that this was helpful to you. Um, and uh, if, it, if it was, um, if this is, um, if this was uh, encouraging to you, if this is something maybe you think uh, you might use uh, when you deal with conflict in your home, could you just leave uh, a number one at the bottom in the comment section? Just so I see like, uh, I just wanna see like who's, who's paying attention, who's, uh, who's kind of, uh, understanding what I'm saying and and again hopefully it's helpful to you again this is the purpose of these videos is to be a help to you so again I hope this was a help to you if you have any questions leave them leave them you know in the in the comment section um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and uh, I'll talk to you again on another episode coming up shortly have a great day take care